All right, guys. Well, today I'm gonna start putting this thing up on stands. I ended up getting a front brake kit from uh, Speedway there. Switch over to discs. Two boxes there. I got the uh, new leaf springs and all the hardware in this box to do the shackles and everything. So I'm gonna uh, put the thing up in the air. See what I can do with the front brakes today. Maybe get that together. Pull the rear wheels and uh, yeah, start making some uh, progress on it. So I'll get up in the air, I'll pull the wheels off, and kind of show you how this kit works. Alright guys, so it's a pretty simple kit. It's got uh, discs off like a you know, late 60s, early 70s uh, GM. And it just switched over to the single, uh, single caliper or single uh, piston calipers. This is the real trick, this whole thing right here. It's this little mounting bracket here. So all it does, on the sides what, but... Uh, Basically, I gotta take the hub and all that off, but it ends up using existing holes for what would get the uh, all the drum and all that stuff. It just kind of bolts on on the wrong side. So it just ends up bolting in like that, and then that gives you where the uh, the calipers go in. So it's a pretty simple little setup. And obviously, you'll pull that off. And then, uh, you know, it's got a new, all new bearings and, and all sorts of stuff in there. It's a pretty good little kit there. Everything there. It's got all brand new, the lines, the mount, dust caps, whatever you need. So, cost a few bucks, but uh, basically the same price as rebuilding the old drums with, with new drums because they're so expensive. So, yeah, I'll get this pulled off. I'll kind of get it all kind of mocked up and I'll show you how it turned out. All right, guys. So, here it is. The uh, caliper actually goes on the front there. I read the instruction about six times, but it says to the front of the spindle. So that's what it is. That's how the pictures look. So pretty simple. You just bolt on the steering arm. It gives you all the, the hardware stuff like that. I cleaned uh, everything up on the spindle. The next step is it says just to place the, uh, the outer bearing or whatever you want to call it, the inner bearing in and uh, slip it all on and just kind of uh, put it on there. Torque up normal without the grease, because I guess you have to re-drill where the cotter pin's going to be. So I guess I'll do that. So I'll just get this thing all kind of half-assembled and bring it right back. Alright, so it's all on. Uh, you know, torqued it up while I was spinning it. Backed it up, I uh, went a quarter turn there. And I, I probably won't show up on camera, but ultimately, these, uh, in the kit, it did say it, it pulls the track width out about uh, three-quarters of an inch. So I guess part of that must be in the rotor and all that stuff. But basically where it wants to be it's just at the tip of the hole so i got to kind of move it over one and i'll just drill one more uh, little hole there through a cotter pin so i'll just kind of clean that out a little put a little sharpie mark on it drill it out and i should be able to take everything apart pack the bearings and put it together all right guys so you're making some progress here so i'll just show you how to do this uh, with, with no grease on it what i did pretty simple the race is already in the uh in the rotor on this so you, once you have your bearing full of grease, you pack it, you put it in there, you put your little uh, seal in. I have a little seal driving tool. Put it on like that, you hammer it down, it's flush, and you're all, uh, you're all done there. Once you do that, you end up putting it on the spindle, pretty simple. You then put a bearing, a little washer, and then the uh, castle nut there. You snug it up while you're spinning the... Uh, the rotor around, get everything all set, loosen it, and then just kind of put it on finger tight and run your cotter pin through. And that's that. So, pretty simple little setup. Everything seemed to work pretty good. Uh, just put your dust cap over there, and I'm going to move on to the calipers and uh, and brake pads next. So, I'll show you how that works out. All right, just show you this is the caliper there. So, obviously, it's got new, new pads in it ready to go. This one, what you want to make sure. They're labeled left and right, but because this kit puts the brakes on the front instead of the back, you gotta make sure you actually flip them. A good rule of thumb is just make sure that the bleeder is pointing upwards. Just popped out there. So <clears throat> your bleeder is right there. You wanna make sure when it's on the car, it's facing up. Because obviously air has to go up to get out. So if you have it facing down, you're never going to get the air out of the system. This is kind of a two-hand job. I'll get these things just kind of on and show you, show you how it works. Okay, so it's all together. I gave it a quick shot of brake clean. It's all kind of cleaned up. Everything seems to fit fine. Uh, the only thing I have to do next is it came with a new tab for the, uh, the brake line. So I have to move that to the front because obviously the caliper is on the front. So I got to mount that there and I'll be able to run the brake line 
there, but I'm not too worried about that just right now. Otherwise, yeah, it's all together, pretty much ready to go. So I'll move on the other side and I'll start disassembling it. I probably won't go uh, as, as in depth with it there. And then I want to be able to just test the steering before I take it all apart with the old tie rods and everything. So hopefully it'll fit, uh, you know, in front of the oil pan there because I did move the motor ahead. So that's the next task. So I'll get the other side done, show you how it turned out, and then I'll start hanging some steering. All right, guys, more of the same. Nice bang the other side on real quick. So, you know, it took me you know, half hour or something like that, but it's all done. Ready to go. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to work on, see if I can cram the steering back in there. If I'm going to do it all in one piece, it'd be nice. It's a bit of a pain trying to get the uh, steering box and all that. It's got the big rod that goes up to the wheel. So I'll work on that next. 